Hello. The subject of this training video is the shrink wrap function. The shrink wrap function automatically wraps the region of interest boundary around the periphery of an object. In this case, we're looking at a fracture callus from a bone orthopedic uh, experiment, and the objective is to make the region of interest wrap around the boundary of the bone. Now, to do this manually, for example, it, in the uh, region of interest page of CT Analyzer, would be very tedious and would not be particularly accurate. It would take a very long time. So there exists a um, automatic alternative to this. So let's load the um, very loose region of interest, which is uh, ex goes around uh, the outside of the object, but not following the boundary contours. First of all, at the binary image page, we choose a threshold to segment the bone. Then we move to the fifth custom processing page of CT Analyzer. Our first operation is to apply the threshold, in this case, a value of 96 and 255. Now, remember that at the custom processing page, the final three buttons on the right are three modes of viewing. You see the image, you see the region of interest itself on the right, and in between you see the image inside the region of interest. Now I'm going to run a despeckle function just to remove any small um, dots of noise. Remove white speckles, 3D space, less than 40 voxels from the image. With that done, we can look again at the region of interest and it is now the same as it was set in the region of interest page. However now I'm going to run the shrink wrap function. I'll run it in 2D space. To begin with I will exclude this uh, stretch over holes function. The shrink wrap runs rapidly. If I look at the region of interest we see that there is only partial success. On some levels the region of interest is stretched around the boundary, but at certain places it goes inside holes in the object because there are openings or holes in the periphery. At this point I will run the reload plugin and reload the original region of interest back in. And let's try that again. This time we will run the ROI shrink wrap plugin, but we will activate this subfunction stretch over holes and we will choose a diameter su sufficient to fill in the holes that we do not want to um, <coughs> be uh, included in the ROI. So I will choose, for example, a diameter of 16 pixels and continue. Now, the larger the value that you set in shrink wrap, the longer the process will take. So a practical note is that the function is practical in the case that the holes that you want to stretch over are not excessively large. If, for example, up to say 20 or 30 pixels in size. If there are very large holes uh, with a larger pixel radius, then you can be faced with a very long time taken to stretch over those holes. Note also that here we are performing shrink wrap in 2D, which means that it is shrinking from the periphery on each two-dimensional slice. In this case, this is preferable to 3D, which would include shrinking from the cut top and bottom surfaces. In this case, it is sufficient and adequate to shrink wrap uh, the section from the periphery using the 2D option. Another factor is that the 2D shrink wrap takes a shorter time than 3D. If you have a whole object in three dimensions, such as a particle, then the 3D shrink wrap can in that case be appropriate. So our shrink wrap with the 16 pixel stretch over holes is about to complete. And we can see the result. Now, unlike the previous time, we can now see that the boundary is complete. And the only places where it indents into the periphery is where there is a large hole. We can see if we go to the original binarized image, which we are happy to for the ROI to go inside. So, depending on the contours of your object, you choose the value of stretch over holes to give you an uninterrupted boundary 
with the appropriate uh, detail of the surface. Note that it's always a good idea if you include shrink wrap in a task list to finish the task list with the save bitmaps function. Now save bitmaps can actually save a binary data set of either the image or the image inside the ROI or the ROI itself. And in the case of BMP it can be converted to monochrome. If we save the ROI what that means is that after the operation of the task for instance if we have run it from the batch manager we can inspect the region of interest that has resulted from the shrink wrap and assess whether it is uh, successfully applied or not. Thank you.